Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Zena, but I'm back again to another photo in store for you guys on period. This is an Amazon wig, it's from Mick Moe Hair, and this was just me trying to unbox it. and The air looks so good. I had to um, customize the air, bleach the knot, and I um, also plucked the knot. And right now, let's just get right into the install. I use a stocking cap for my install. I used to use the HD cap. The TikTok girl did put me on the women's stocking. It's a better option for me personally because they usually get varieties of like shade range and it's light as long as you're dragging it down as much as you can just so you like you can have a seamless melt. But I was very careful here because I had makeup on and after that I just went out here to cut my hair tabs so my hairs are hard and I went over it with the olive oil wig spray. You could use any olden spray you have as long as it's gonna give you, you know, your bold cut method. A lot of people use got to be and that's a better that's a good option as well. And I went over it with my cream foundation. This is usually for um, just like melting the wig cap to your skin tone and I'm just cutting the excess lace on the wig cap. You have to make sure that it is seamless, like it is actually flat. If you find it even lifting, try to go over it with the wig old and just with wig old free and just try to bring it down so that everything looks seamless. And the glue I'm using today is the JBL glue and I always try to make a very light layer just so it does not like clutch up and then make my install messy and always try to ensure that the glue dries clear and tacky before going over in another layer and i use about three layers on this because i was actually going to keep it on for a while and this was just me trying to make sure that the um the hair tabs are actually they have enough glue to hold it because the hair tab lifts easily so try to ensure that there's enough glue at the hair tab just so that it doesn't lift and right now i'm just cutting out this um pins inside the wig because i want my wig to actually lay flat i'm just trying to lay down my wig on the glue always try to do it tragically because you always make sure that you do not want to put it behind where the glue is try to bring it forward just so that the glue is actually sitting like the wig is actually sitting right where the glue is and then i went over it with the elastic band just to make better melt and now i'm just cutting out the lace just so it's easier for me to actually cut it once once it's actually well melted once that is done i went over with my dryer on cool setting to better dry down the glue and ensure that the glue actually melts into the lace quicker because Usually I keep this on for about 10 minutes, but I needed to get this out as soon as possible. And once that is done, I got the elastic band out and now it's time to cut off the excess lace. Usually I use a brow razor because it's a lot easier and it also ensures that the lace actually comes out looking natural compared to using a scissors. It's just a lot of work using a scissors for me personally. And so brow razor was just always do the job for me. And yeah, this is just me trying to make sure that you know I'm cutting it properly. I actually always take my time with this because it actually takes a while to, to actually get it right. Go over it as much as you can to ensure that the lace actually look natural enough for you. And right now, I'm just putting my glue over the part where I felt like was lifting and I needed more glue to actually hold it down. And usually it would be by the hair tabs and maybe like in the middle part where I pull the wig forward more. And now I'm just trying to press down the hair to make it flat and just pull back all the like airs that are flying around just to make sure that I have like a flat base and I usually use my waxing stick and my um or comb to cut it in layers and ensure that everything is actually flat and also go over it with the wig holding spray over again for, for better melting I always go over with like double melting after this I still go over it with a melting spray which is the Ebony Leaf Melting Spray. And this is just to make sure that you are, your hair is actually well melted into your skin and it is gonna last you for at least a week or two. So I do this as a routine and it's, it literally would keep my wig on my head for, for a long time. And 
I'm just coiling the baby here with this small flat iron. This is actually a big game changer for me personally. I see the difference when I do this and when I usually like just leave it normally and I try to lay my baby here. Like this makes it different. So I would actually suggest you actually invest in this small flat iron. And I also go over it with the wiggle spray again and also immune. And this is just to ensure that it's actually gonna hold and also the muse is just for me to be able to really like move it and makes it just like a lot more flexible for me to actually coil it properly and i did this on both sides then i put this neck chip over the baby ears and this neck chip just helped the baby ears stay in place before i then go over with my elastic band i've noticed that usually when i put my elastic band directly on it i always have this line and at this stage i don't want that line so i always try to do it this way it just makes more sense for me personally and now i'm just using this black spray to divide my part in usually i don't use this black spray but honestly i was just tired that day i would usually go over with a mascara or a sharpie pen but this is also a good option in case you actually just looking for something quick then i went over with my concealer to further define the pattern so it just looks a lot clean And this is the final look on how the install turned out i straightened the hair as well and it did come out so nice like it was giving bust down don't play with me period i really like this install it was looking so clean and so seamless and i like the baby hairs it was so light and so fluffy which is what i want to tell you to give period so please you guys soon if you guys like this video please make sure to like comment subscribe and also share leave a comment in the comment section and thank you so much for watching my video i'll see you guys in my next video bye bestie